how to unlock every base operator inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another Call of Duty guide video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through all of the challenges to unlock every single operator inside of the base game at launch of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Do note that if you do complete these challenges in Modern Warfare 2, once Warzone 2 is available, these operators will be available for you to use inside of that game as well. Do note, I do have all of the operators that were available via the campaign unlocked already because I completed the campaign. So we're gonna start off with, this is Rangers, the default skin. I also have a Chewy. To unlock Chewy, you do need to complete a mission inside of the campaign for him. To unlock Gus, you need to get five assists in a single multiplayer match, which should be pretty easy if you're just playing naturally. You should be able to do this. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this, Zimo. Uh, get a kill with a secondary weapon, very easy to do. Just pull out your pistol or rocket or riot shield and get a secondary weapon kill with one of those weapons. This could be done in multiplayer or again in Warzone 2 when that drops. Get Kilo, another name that I'm probably saying wrong. Get a kill with a lethal equipment. This one again, pretty easy with a frag grenade, Centex, a drill grenade, C4. You should be able to get this done. All you need is one kill inside a multiplayer or again in Warzone 2 when that drops. Now, I, I just noticed I'm not saying DMZ. I believe these could be done in DMZ and Spec Ops as well because progression does travel, does carry over in Spec Ops. I believe it's gonna carry over in DMZ as well. Nova, I believe she's unlocked via the campaign. Reese, again, unlocked via the campaign. I'm um, not gonna try to pronounce this. This is Grimsgo. You have to complete low profile spec op mission inside of the game. It doesn't matter how many stars you get on completion. You can get one, two, three. You unlock this skin just by completing that mission. Now I have Soap, again, Price, Farah, and Pierce, all because I bought the $100 vault edition of the game. Now, from my understanding, there's no way to get these four operators in the game as of yet i believe they're probably going to be in the season one battle pass or maybe in bundles later on down the road but as of right now this is the only way to get price farah ghost and so with these ghost style masks there's no challenge or in way game to get these as of right now and this is the game at launch so that can change when warzone 2 drops or again if they do drop a bundle or if they are included in the battle pass which i could see happening i could see them dropping them for in a battle pass suite kind of to juicing up the deal of the first battle pass giving them different styles than what is shown here because this is part of the vault edition to people that pre-order the game or whatever the case may be then we have luna to unlock luna you got to complete the defend mount zaya spec op mission and that is it for this side now i'm gonna move on to the other side i believe the enemies and jump in and check out this skin this is the base operator or the default quote unquote operator everyone that will have unlocked for this team and i just noticed there's actually four different styles with him that's pretty cool so jumping in we have fender you have to get two kills with a launcher in a single multiplayer match excuse my voice my voice is going in and out right now so that should be pretty easy two kills with a rpg or any type of launcher and you should be fine kong get a finishing move inside of a multiplayer match a warzone 2 match or spec ops and dmz again this should be very easy to do in spec ops if you do have a partner to play with or again in multiplayer if you're just running around and catch somebody from behind all you have to do is hold down the melee button either from behind somebody or while they're prone callisto you have to get five headshot kills in a multiplayer match self-explanatory not too insane but again five headshot kills in a single multiplayer match i would recommend either using a shotgun shotguns usually always give you a headshot bonus 
especially if you up close and just spraying this whole body. Hutch is a operator that you get from completing one of the missions in campaign. Whole gang, I'm probably saying that wrong again. Another operator that you get from completing a mission in the campaign, and it kind of looks like um, the the guy from Vanguard. I just noticed that has all of the CDL teams on him. It's kind of funny. Again, a name I probably cannot pronounce. Tilito get two revenge kills in a multiplayer match, killing the enemy who recently killed you. Again, all you have to do is just kill somebody that actually killed you within that multiplayer match. I recommend playing Domination, Team Deathmatch, something that you're gonna just die and die over and over again. And you can have a chance of having one of the people on the other set team who have killed you you can respawn, jump in, and get your revenge kill. That way, you need to get two in order to unlock her. Another name I'm not going to try to pronounce. Get 20 kills in a multiplayer match. It should be easy enough. Self-explanatory. I recommend doing something that has more of a breathing room for getting that much kills in a singular match. I wouldn't recommend trying to get that done in team deathmatch. Maybe you can, but... I would recommend something like a domination or a hard point, something that everyone's just gonna keep responding, is responding, responding, something that everybody's gonna funnel to a location where you know that you can just clock in and just get a whole bunch of kills. Congor, uh, get five hit fire kills in a single multiplayer match. Self-explanatory hit fire kills, I recommend just using an SMG or shotgun. You should be fine. Zero, complete the denied area spec op mission. Again, self-explanatory, just complete that spec out mission and you should be able to unlock him. Again, either one star, two star, three stars, it doesn't matter how many stars you get on that spec out mission, you should be able to unlock him very easily. Rose, get a point blank kill. Now this is just somebody, again, right up in your face. I recommend either using a shotgun or SMG and you should be able to get this very easily. Oni, I have Oni unlocked because I'm on PlayStation. I believe he was granted for everyone that pre-ordered on PlayStation platforms. And that is it. That is how to unlock every Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 base operator inside of, again, Modern Warfare 2, as well as in Warzone 2, whenever that drops and releases. Again, excuse my voice. Let me know your thoughts of how to unlock each of these operators in the comment section below i will be doing deep dive videos for the ones that i believe need a more in-depth explanation i think all of them are self-explanatory though i would just think maybe the spec op missions would need a you know a full detail breakdown but besides that it, it seems pretty much self-explanatory let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's chat it up down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button I do videos like this every day talking call of duty fortnite mario pokemon wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving this video into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys and see you guys on the next one and again excuse my voice